Hello there, this is Ben Fournier of Benevolent Cytochorum, and here's Proverbs 10.28 and Cognitive Functions. The expectation of the righteous is joyful, but the hope of the wicked shall perish. Literal version. In heaven, at least, by salvation through Christ, there is expectation of a joyful, everlasting future therein. But yeah, for most things in this life, they are exceedingly disappointing. Like college, you'd think it's a place to learn, but it's easier than middle school grade textbooks for homeschoolers instead, but with a price tag that makes it even more worthless than, you know, what, yeah, if you're gonna be having, like, middle school grade material, it shouldn't be for 2,000 bucks per class, you know, that's a scam. Uh, yeah, or even marriage after the deliberate sabotage of no-fault divorce. Which is funny, if you argue against no-fault divorce, then often a bunch of idiots will say, Oh, but what about these at-fault reasons? It's like, they're at-fault. This is about, hey, I feel like betraying you and running away. Okay. You know, just, uh, irreconcilable differences. Yeah, there's no such thing as that. Except for by cowards that just pretend to everything's impossible. Sometimes things are impossible, but sometimes it's just artificially so, whether externally or internally. But anyway, uh, such as the deliberate sabotage of divorce, no-fault divorce, turning it into a scam favoring one party that's incentivized to betray the other. Or just like the idea of marriage, of which women love weddings and not the marriage, it's nice to have a big party, say a bunch of pretty words that evaporate into air as soon as spoken, see a bunch of relatives and friends who feel obligated to give you stuff, such fun indeed. But in the end, there's life to live, housework to do, no real jobs that actually support families anymore, or ever fewer each moment anyhow. Even back in 2010 it was bad and now it's far worse. Add to that manipulated manipulated if in in-laws who try to rule your life, such as my ex-wife's ENTJ brother. She was an INFP as far as I can tell, and her brother is an ENTJ. Her cursing ideal match that she wanted me to be just like. It's like, no, I am my own person. I'm not your brother. Whatever, though. It's practically... You know, an infernal situation, as most things are in this trouble-filled world. It's like marketing in general. You can get really hyped over something that sounds so fun and cool. And marriage is a good thing, an ideal. It's just how the sabotage has changed its effect, you know. And, and lifelong vows, instead of for richer or poorer, it's for richer, not poorer. For better, not worse. For as long as I feel like it, and goodbye as soon as I don't. That's how No Fault has sabotaged it deliberately. It is deliberate sabotage, just like all the economic sabotage that's made everything impossible. But anyway, it's like marketing in general. You can get really hyped over something that sounds so fun and cool, but after you have it, you see it's just another thing. And with time and boredom, everything wears away, erodes, moth and rust destroy. Nothing in this world lasts, even if the potential for immortality may have existed in the beginning. Everything is so corrupt beyond recognition now. Perhaps after Christ returns and everything is renewed, we can look forward to a good, to good lasting things as well. After all the snakes have bit the dust. Oh, and cognitive function-wise, probably FE and NI, maybe ENFJ. Yep. Anyway, take care everyone and try not to go crazy.